Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of I End These Videos in Really Weird Places. Yes. <laughs> Last time, I realized that the video was going on for like almost 50 minutes at that point. Might as well have been 50 minutes. And I knew that there would be at least 10 or 20 to the next save point. And I didn't want a video over an hour long. I could have, but I didn't want to. So, <laughs> so I ended it after Ryuji awakened to his persona after that scene. So it's a weird ending. I always try to end the episodes, or I'm going to try to end the episodes at a save point, at a point where I can save the game and stop playing it. But this was not one of those points, unfortunately. I just did not want that episode being that long. Last episode, though, oh my, so much stuff happened. We figured out that Kamoshida is actually, he's actually been abusing the volleyball team. And he, um was mean to Ryuji, and it's Kamoshida's fault that the volleyball team is gone, and Ryuji awakened to his persona in such an awesome scene. Um, what else happened? That's about it for the most part, but we learned a lot about Kamoshida mostly, and normal tutorial bat battle tactic, tactic stuff. Anyways, I don't remember changing into that. Yeah, you, uh, alright, hold on, I need to adjust my headset. Your costume is like mine now. You look like a thug. I will say. The hell? It's much better than your magician looking one. Wow, okay. Did you find them? Quiet. No, look that way. So what's going on? I'm completely lost, man. I told you before. When a Persona user opposes a palace's ruler and becomes a threat to them, this happens. It's to prevent you from being affected by distortions. Is this... a skull? Your appearance reflects your inner self. It's the rebel that slumbers within. Not that you'll get it. Nope. Then stop asking questions and accept what you see for what it is. Easy for you to say. Hold on. Wait, we're in deep shit. I said to be quiet. We might have gotten away here, but we're still screwed with Kamoshida at the real school. That's quite sharp of you for being an idiot. Relax. The Kamashita in reality can't possibly know about what happens here. Well, that's a relief. A shadow is the true self that is suppressed. A side of one's personality they don't want to see. So, we're okay? Did the Kamashita in reality remember about the execution? There you have it. Mm. All right. Now that we know that, all we gotta do is... Wait. I guided you as promised. It's your turn to cooperate with me. That's why I was super nice about teaching you idiots everything. Huh? Cooperate? Don't you remember? I originally came here for an investigation. I need to erase the distortion from my body and regain my real form. That's why we must delve deep into mementos and... Whoa, hold up. What are you going on and on about? We never said anything about helping you out. Don't tell me. Are you not going to repay the hospitality I showed you? Especially you. That you're going to up and leave, even though you're already part of my master plan? Uh, we never promised anything. See, I wasn't lying. Oops. Is it because I'm not human? Because I'm like a cat? Is that why you're making a fool of me? <laughs> We're busy. Thanks for everything, cat. You got guts being a cat and all. See you around. <laughs> hey! What the hell? Oh, seriously? Why are you wrapping this up like everything's all hunky dory? Uh. Oh, hell no! Get back here! Morgana is like, he's so funny, but in a stupid way. <laughs> Not in a funny way. Well, that's good to know. <sighs> Thank God, we're back. Yeah, I dragged you around a lot, huh? 
<sighs> Sorry, man. <laughs> nah, it's fine. We're good. I'm dead tired. How are you holding up? Um, yeah, I could use a nap, probably. Me too. And I'm gonna sleep like a rock when I get home. But damn, if what we saw was for real, oh, this is gonna get good. I totally remember the faces of the guys Kamoshida was treating like slaves. Once we make him fess up to any physical abuse, Kamoshida will be done. So, want to help me look for those guys or any witnesses? Mm, I guess. I mean, yeah, why not? Now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hey, so if you're thinking of laying low cuz you got a record, I don't think that'll help. Everyone already knows. They totally got you pegged as a criminal. Hmm. Kamoshida opened his damn mouth. Ooh, that's like bad. Like a kid spreading a rumor is like that's normal. Like a teacher spreading a rumor? Like what? That that doesn't happen. Yeah, like a teacher did that? What? No one else besides a teacher could have leaked it that fast. Just wow. A student or a club. That asshole just wrecks things he doesn't agree with, just like he did with me. No one will take anything I say seriously. Still, those rumors about him getting physical might be real. And after seeing Kamoshida's distorted heart thing in person, there's no way I can just sit back. I know what you mean. Totally. 100%. Don't worry, I'm hyped about this too. But Mike say. Acting as a phantom thief would have been more efficient alone. You could have gone about it that way. However, you did not. There are merits to having associates. That's what you decided. Am I wrong? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the chariot persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Alright, so, rank one of the chariot arcana. Uh, I'm gonna take the next minute or so to explain what actually just happened. The game is probably gonna explain it too, um... But I'm going to explain it right now, and then I'll just skip whenever the game explains it. So basically, um, there are 22 confidants in this game. Um, a confidant is when you hang out with somebody, spend time with somebody. Like I said, this game works on a day-to-day -day calendar. Pretty soon, well not pretty soon, but fairly soon, and maybe a couple, probably a couple episodes, we will actually get the, like, the world open to us. As in, we will get to choose what to do after school, what to do in the evening. And we can choose to hang out with confidants. There are... 22 confidants in the game and uh 10 ranks of each confidant and when you hang out with confidants each person has a different story um some of the people are on your team some of them are just people random people from school <laughs> or other places so basically you um you know they so basically they tell you about like you know their i guess problems you hear about their stories hang out with them and if you choose the right options you'll get points towards their confidant if you get enough points you'll rank up towards um to get towards the next rank um certain confidants cannot be accessed if you don't have a high enough stat on a certain social stat which is why the stats are important also they're important for personas because there are many 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 personas in this game probably over a hundred and to 100% the game, you have to get all the personas. To get all the personas, you have to max out all the confidence. confidants. To max out all the confidants, you have to get max out all the social stats. See how it all comes together? All right. All right. <laughs> oh, right. I haven't eaten anything since lunch. Oof. I do be like that sometimes. Why don't we grab a bite somewhere? Uh, sure. <laughs> Just follow me. 
mean, I totally gotta hear about your past. <laughs> what? What the hell, man? How much shittier can that asshole get? Eh, it's in the past. Kind of over it now. It's out of my control. Real? If it was me, I wouldn't come down until I punched that dick in the face. So you left your hometown and you're living here now, huh? Basically, yeah. <laughs> ah, we might be more alike than I originally thought. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe. You're the first guy that made me think that. <laughs> I guess it's how we're treated like a pain in the ass by the people around us. Like we don't belong. Yeah, that's true. Did something stupid at school before too. Oh, like what? What'd you do? Just eat all that ramen. The place you're living now is in Yongen, right? Yeah. It's rush hour on the subways. I suggest you kill some time before heading home. What the hell, man? You barely touched your food. I can do that myself. <laughs> Let me do it. I gotta thank you for helping me. Anyways, I got your back like you got mine from tomorrow on. As long as we do something about Kamoshida, I'm sure we'll both feel better about being at school. Oh, yeah. Tell me your number. Okay, that's great and all, but you're not even gonna tell me what that crazy thing that happened that you messed up with a while ago was? My number is 888-888-888-888-888. you wait, Kamoshida. We're gonna start right away tomorrow. First, let's hit up those guys that were kept as slaves. The volleyball rallies tomorrow, huh? <sighs> Shit's recommended by Kamoshida. Makes me want to gag. But thanks to that, we got no classes in the afternoon, and we can walk around unnoticed. Well, I guess we can work out the details tomorrow. Yeah. Come on, you gotta eat more. There's tons of ginger here. <laughs> That smile that was on his face was kind of creepy, to be honest. So, about this plan to take down Kamoshida. Uh, yeah, like, tone it down a couple notches. Uh, right. <laughs> it's like, <gasps> about this plan, it's like, you don't think I'll be that loud. been sleeping well lately whenever I close my eyes I keep thinking about too many things Shio. nationals are coming up soon so I keep thinking should someone like me really be on the starting lineup don't worry just be confident in yourself your skills have been recognized it's all because you work harder than anyone else <laughs> yeah Volleyball's all I have after all. More importantly, was that injury okay? It looked really swollen. No, it's nothing. It's normal. Especially since a meet's coming up. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt, Suzumi. Um, Mr. Kamashita told me to get you. Huh? What does he want? He didn't say. On, I... Uh, It'll be fine. I bet it's a meeting about the starting lineup or something. Yeah. Well, I better go. Yep. Good luck. Hang in there, Shiho. Okay, now my cat's banging down my door. You're home. I take it you actually went to school today? Um, yeah. Well, you think I wasn't gonna go? Also, yes, yeah, I had to let my cat in my room. Uh, as long as you're not getting into trouble, it's fine. I don't know what you've been up to, but trust me, you'll be gone if you start causing problems. I know, I know. You're gonna throw me out. In case you forgot, your life is not a free one right now. Yep. 
kind of what happens when I try to protect people, I guess. Hey, I decided to go ahead and message you. Can you see this? <laughs> no. <laughs> you so can. I'm going to be counting on you tomorrow, okay? Um, yeah, sure. You're a bro, man. Well, see you tomorrow. Let's save those guys who've been getting abused. You and me. Are you even listening to me? Just stay away from bad influences, okay? Yeah, I know. I'm like my dad. Hey, I'm gonna head home for the night. All right. I'll lock the store up. Don't go wandering out. Yeah, so the thing about like the beginning, this isn't just Persona 5, this is any Persona game. The big the beginning of the game is very restrictive. Like you can't even for the first month of the game, you can't even go out at night. Uh, later on, you know, more things open up to us, we can start to go out at night, unlock more stuff, stuff like that. Um But as of now, we really don't have a lot of things uh, open to us. Um, unfortunately, and that's the thing about Persona 5 is out of all the Persona games, Persona 5 takes the longest to get started, and it's, out of all of the Persona games, it takes the longest to, like, really get started and get the ball ro rolling and got all the introductory stuff out of the way. That thingy on your phone was some red eyeball icon, right? Uh, yeah, the Metaverse Navigator. We ended up at that weird place when we used this nav app, right? I found it on my phone, too. I don't even remember installing it. Uh, that's kind of creepy. For real, what is this thing? I think it's being downloaded on its own somehow. It's dangerous to use something without knowing what it is, but with it, we can go to that weird place, right? Yeah, it seems like it. Basically, it's gonna depend on how we use it. But first, we gotta find evidence for the beatings. I'm counting on you, alright? Don't go ditching school on me. <laughs> yeah, I won't. Alright, that was another long day. I swear, like, later on, the days are not this long. And also, uh, we do not go to uh, the Velvet Room every single night as well. It's just, we do that a lot at the beginning of the game. Hey, you got new room. Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yep, I I've heard that. Resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned... I don't even remember what our previous conversation was. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Oh, um, yeah, little by little, you know. I guess I'm getting used to it. Glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. I wouldn't say nerves of steel, but... The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power, did you not? Hmm, you mean Ryuji? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, See. I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Yeah, so this is pretty much what I just explained like 10 minutes ago. Indeed, um, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. And I believe, yep, we're about to uh, have a bond with Igor now. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that break it by chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Really quick, a few things I forgot to mention about confidants. There are like three or four that progress along with the story that you need to worry about, but most of them are you have to initiate them, you have to continue the confidants. There are just a few exceptions that progress automatically throughout the story. But as Igor was saying, um, the higher your rank with a certain confidant gets, 
the higher the corresponding the higher level your corresponding persona will get which of course will help you in battle um now another thing i forgot to mention there are 22 arcanas um they the arcanas in this game um reflect tar tarot card decks if any of you know what those are um there's like fool magician chariot whole bunch of lovers hot I mean, whole bunch of them they're 22 from this all right and there are some confidants later on that their perks of, you know, being late in their confidant will really, really help you out in battle. Like, really help you out. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. Caroline is so mean to me. I don't understand. She's just so mean. Why she gotta be so mean? Alright. Annoying. We barely started high school and oh. already they're making us play at a volleyball round. I don't remember this being voice, but okay. Why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? <laughs> That'll happen many times throughout the game too, where you like hear interactions of students in the morning. Okay, quiet down. Listen up, everyone. As you all know, today is the volleyball rally. Head to the gymnasium once you've changed. Got it? Okay, well that was <laughs> that was like a pointless scene. <laughs> Whatever. Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that sorry. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get yep, tell me about it. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Yeah. Let's look That's a good place to start. Saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Um, I Oh, you're coming with me too. Oh, okay. The first one that popped out was a guy from class D. So let's start from there. Class D, okay. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? All right. Um quick travel being introduced. Quick travel it allows you to travel quick. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much I mean, what did you think it did? Alright, what did he say? Something D. 4D? I don't remember what it even was. Well, let's just check every floor D. And eventually, one of them will be right. Is it 3D? I mean, 1D. Alright. Then is it 2D? I forgot it goes backwards, so it's 1 at the top. You know, American schools are different. Alright, it is 2D. Okay. <laughs> I believe it's this kid. What? 
Are you skipping out on the volleyball rally? I guess I expect it from you, transfer. Wow. Who was over at that castle? Throwing me under the bus. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? Mm, how did you get injured? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm, sounds like a lie to me. I'm not. You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. You know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and she still won't fess up. Yeah. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. Um, I think we should split up. Guess that'd be faster. Yeah. I'll take the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's Sounds good. Here on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in 3C. He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya. Okay, so 3C downwards, I believe that would be. Is that correct? Um, he, An and Chiho are over here. Just rumor stuff. Yeah. Um, three. That's three D. This is three E. Other way. Going the wrong way. All right. Man, cleaning it up after the volleyball rally is gonna be such a goddamn pain. And what do you want? <laughs> you got something to say? How did you get hurt? Uh, it's from practice. Hey, I know who this guy is. He's that transfer student who's been hanging out with Sakamoto. Oh, I get it. You're trying to snoop on Mr. Kamoshida, right? Look, our volleyball team performs at a national level. Of course, our practices are going to be tough. Mr. Kamoshida is de just dedicated to training us. Don't believe everything Sakamoto says. <laughs> but that's like, yeah. Who cares? Just don't talk like you know. Hey, we should stop talking to him. What if he loses it and starts attacking us? I heard he even carries a knife around. Who knows what he's capable of? How's it going? Hmm, you tell me first. How's it going? It's not going right over here, that's for sure. No good. Everyone's too freaked out about Kamoshida. But it's still got a lead. A first year new member? He just joined, so he might not be all wrapped up in Kamoshida web in Kamoshida's web of bullshit yet. Go ask around with the first year. See if you can find him. Um, first years are on. I don't even know what floor they're on. Are they on this floor? Oh, stim me to them twice. Um. Yeah, I don't even remember if the first years are on this floor or the third, third floor. Okay, they are on the third floor. Aha! Up to the third floor we shall go. What if, like, taking the stairs was this fast in real life? I guess it can be if you sprint up the stairs. Head to karaoke. Here's the volleyball team or something else. Uh, by the way, you can tell which ones you can talk to because, like, these guys, you can't. These are just models who I can actually go through. Maybe they're ghosts, but these guys have, like, three lines above their head. And that guy has, like, a speech bubble. So you can tell that they have something that they can say. Huh? Yeah, I'm on the volleyball team. What do you want? Okay, let's just cut straight to the chase. Is he abusing you? What? Well, why would you say something like that? I mean, sure, Mr. Kamashita is strict, but it's like this for all of his other sports teams, right? Though the special coaching he gave Mishima Senpai was probably too far. Oh, um, I seriously don't know anything. Sorry. Mishima. Please, just stop talking to me. Ask someone else if you want to know anything more. Attention, attention. All matches have concluded. Please get ready to go home for today. Well, shoot. Kind of missed that opportunity. <laughs> Damn it, we're out of time. How'd it go? Not great. So you didn't have any luck either. Okay, let's regroup for now. See you in the courtyard? Sounds good. Can I talk to you for a sec? Oh, uh, sure. What is it? I didn't expect you to come up here. It'll be quick. Okay. 
What do you want? What do you need? I mean, I guess. <laughs> what do you want? What's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all. There's that weird rumor about you too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. Oh yeah, Ryuji and I getting to know each other. Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? You wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? I wouldn't say she's being aggressive. How do you know her, though? We just went to the same middle school. Oh, okay. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. Yeah. No luck on my end. What about you? Did well, like someone's name turn up? I did get Mishima. Huh? So whoever that is. Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Think we should probably talk to him before he leaves. Then. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> hey, got a second? <laughs> you don't have to ask God a second so aggressively. Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today. Right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Mm, Still, I doubt that. Doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? I wouldn't doubt it. That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? Uh, I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima? Are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from this school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal- I didn't even do anything. I was just like, oh yeah, I was just leaving. <laughs> just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. I don't think they're rumors though. That's your own goddamn fault. Oof. Harsh. This won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. Yeah, definitely. No point. What? Huh? that he's physically abusing us is meaningless everybody knows <laughs> principal our parents they all know and they all keep quiet about so that's we do we do know that that's happening then this has got to be a joke that's crazy don't be a pain you don't understand what i'm going through shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help <sighs> Well, what now? Oh. I'll try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Yeah. All right. Good idea. <sighs> I'm worn out from all the stuff that happened today. I should probably head to sleep soon. Yep. Um. Also, this is—is is this the first time we've actually been able to go to? Our actual menu, like not just the 
introductory menu. Oh my god, yeah, we can equipment that we don't have. We can see personas, which we only have one of. Stats. I've never seen the uh, menu this early in the game. I, I guess I've never bothered to look at it. It looks kind of funny because there's like nothing here. Can we go to the thieves' den? Wait. We get, we haven't even been introduced to the thieves' den yet. How can we go to the thieves' den? <laughs> I didn't know this stuff was. That's kind of funny. The thieves den is like a like a kind of a lounge place where you can just chill out in the game if you want to. Those like cards, um, other stuff you can actually play as other characters. Uh, but I just think that's kind of funny. <laughs> that like, <laughs> like uh, the thieves den is had has not been introduced to the player yet at this point. That's kind of funny. Anyway, um, I'm gonna end this uh, here actually because. Uh, we have next episode is going to be really eventful actually there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff that's going to go down next episode so be ready for that um but i hope you all enjoyed today's video um and yeah i will see you next time with a brand new episode of persona 5 have a great day everyone